Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.net which is my blog. Here in this um, particular talk I like to talk about one of my uh, generators which I have written for ASP.NET Core and Angular 2. Uh, this is based on the new system which is being uh, implemented on November 16 in the latest uh, Microsoft Connect event which is announced that. So the earlier projects used to be relied on project.json now with that recent build on around ASP.NET Core uh, which happened is like uh, now it has to embrace all .cs prog system right so in order to um, get started with that particular piece I have written one scaffolding template and I published the same as a human generator on uh, node package manager which you can see here this is node site and this is my um, uh, package name generator um, hyphen asp.net core dash a angular 2 now the thing is like um, uh, since you guys are getting started uh, there are a few things prerequisites with that obviously uh, you are going to install your man uh, and for that node is a dependency so this is needless to say like you guys must be familiar with that and there are certain features this is 2017 so once you install that so you can uh, run either in the code itself or 2017 RC version because it is going to be compatible with uh, .cs prod system which MS build recent MS build is going to adapt with and it is going to understand that then there is ASP.NET Core uh, which is the latest stuff which you can think see here like what are the latest changes has been done here so uh, this you can uh, see here and um, let's close this for now these are the features which is there now let me just uh, uh, tell you that uh, once you install that yeoman right and uh, then you need to do right uh, uh, once you install node then you need to install globally that yeoman and yeoman is like uh, with that yo command and then you need to what you need to do is like uh, you need to go ahead with this um, generator installation so what this will do this will globally install that particular generator which I have written and then you can create uh, this particular project with this command in any of the subfolders so now let's say um, this is the result how it is going to look like and um, there, are, there, there are a few things here like um, these are the keywords and um, here you can see that now there is um, something which I wanted to tell you about is like um, what you need to do here is like uh, let's say this is my test folder and I have already installed uh, let's go back now I have already installed this uh, these steps this is already done so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to create the template with that command and I'm going to say this UASP not core angular 2 and this is going to start some kind of questionnaire session here it is going to ask me a few things which I am going to input here so here it says like welcome to the new kickass ASP.NET core angular 2 generator it will ask my namespace uh, let's say I am going to give it um, a, a sample and Currently, I'm uh, keeping only one template. In future, I am going to keep uh, increase the templates um, as well. So that's why I'm uh, keeping the choices here. So for this particular thing, I am just going to press enter, and I will say yes. And again, I will say yes. And this has started creating me that um, complete a scaffolding template for that. Now the template creation is done. Now it is going to create me that install that all npm dependencies right so this is just fetching that and installing that so it will take some time just wait for a moment let me just pause till the time it uh... now once this is uh, installed this will give you a tree kind of a structure which you can see here and there are a few warnings which you can um, skip for now and here it says like um, this is the final confirmation message written in real like have fun some kind of thing and then that is my blog which you can click as well with control and this will open you a new window of my blog if you like to see the more detail about that thing uh, that's fine let's close that and um, the next step is we need to navigate to that particular uh, uh, particular solution right so here I have created that 
sample so what I'm going to do here is like um, if I just do ls here since I'm writing in commander so that's why I can do ls as well so simply I would like to go here copy and uh, let's paste you so here I, I came into that and if I just now do dir here it, it gives me all that uh, particular thing like so here you can see that sample.cs project has created it's not created me that uh, thought x process system so as I was telling you I'm running on the latest build that's why it's relying on that CS process template now with that uh, being said what I need to uh, next to do is uh, .NET run on .NET restore so that it will pull all the dependencies from NuGet feed and it will write into that particular folder itself it's done now with that I can simply go ahead and do dot net run so it should it should um, start hosting the solution on localhost 5000 so it is here so if I simply go ahead and do localhost 5000 so here it came so this is the movie review starter kit um, this is uh, currently working with um, node uh, human generator there is another solution uh, so this is the solution which you can find here on github folder uh, which i have written this particular generator here's the readme file and complete description about that as well and about uh, after that uh, there is a starter kit which i have written for 2017 rc as well only for uh, uh, 2017 so this is exclusively targeted for that However, uh, you can use this template which is coming here uh, to open in that uh, Visual Studio 2017 as well or as well or in code as well. So if you simply go ahead, let's close this with Control C and if I go ahead and do code dot, so it will open my Visual Studio code and if I just inspect this particular solution, so it is giving me all the dependencies pretty much like how it comes in Visual Studio 2017 or um, with the scaffolding template whenever you're creating an ASP.NET Core app. Best part is it is um, scaffolded with your Angular 2 um, stuffs and all TypeScript uh, things are already done. Webpack um, tasks are already built in which means like whatever changes you will be doing you, you can just refresh the browser and um, with that being said you can just test your apis as well now um, the other part is like uh, this is just the starter kit you can improvise on this particular solution and you can start building your full-fledged um, single page app i hope you have liked this particular particular stuff which is that uh, particular human generator for building that app thanks for joining me